Well, look who decided to check YouTube. You. What's going on, guys? You're watching Ninja Lifestyle. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my Texas trip and the major Halloween video. If you haven't seen the major Halloween video, it's crazy. Just go online, type in Michael Jackson skateboarding or check out youtube.com slash major crew. Now, having been there and seen this skating go down firsthand, the tricks, amazing. The editing, awesome. But what you guys don't see is the obstacles that these guys had to overcome to make a video like this. Now, before I get there, I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna go out here, we're gonna skate, we're gonna make a video. It's just like any other video, but it's not. There's a lot of things that I would have never taken into account had I not been there. For example, the park that they skate is an hour drive away. Okay, you think about it. You're driving for an hour, your legs get all cold, you're sitting in one spot. Even worse, if you're the one driving, okay? Not only that, there's 10, 15 skaters here. So you gotta pile everybody into two cars. If you're lucky, you get three cars, you pile these guys in, you're all crushed up and cramped, and then you're expected to skate. So you think, oh, it's gonna take a little bit of extra time to warm up. Well, there's not a whole lot of time left because the way sundown works over there, all the videos have to be shot at night, especially for this Halloween video. The reason is you want all the clips to look the same. Otherwise, it's just a normal, boring video. So the sun goes down, it gets dark enough right around 8, and then the lights go off at 10. So you have two hours to skate. After you've been crunched up and crushed on top of that, it's an hour drive back. So that's what you have to look forward to if you don't land any tricks. <laughs> By the way, that's the saddest ride ever. When you skate hard for two hours and you don't land shit and then you're crunched up in a car with a bunch of sweaty people who all landed shit, that was me. <laughs> Anyways, the time limit is an issue. Not only that, there's a lot of skateboarders there. And maybe there's only one film or two if you're lucky, so you gotta wait in line. And if you're like me, you're not a consistent skateboarder. Thank God Major Crew's consistent. They got to land all their tricks, but me, I don't know if you saw, I really only landed like five tricks. The whole trip. Five tricks. And part of that's because I'm not consistent, but part of that's also because you have to wait in line. It's hard to build momentum when you're waiting in line for, for your turn to try your trick, so every, you know, three minutes you get a turn. That's a setback for somebody like me. Major, maybe used to it, maybe not, I don't know. On top of that, okay, this is getting pretty intense. I've already given you like nine excuses, which is what I'm great at, <laughs> making excuses. A lot of the people in Major this year were injured. Doug, who's not Major, or maybe he is. Me and Doug are, are a Major B team. We're like the, not the varsity, the, the next one down. <laughs> I don't know. But Doug was injured. He had an ankle injury. Mikey was injured, who is Major. He had a, a foot injury. Uh, Eddie was injured with a foot injury, I had a back injury, and everybody had something kind of wrong with them. So you think this quality of tricks went down with injuries on top of that? It's pretty insane. Is that all? No. There's more. There's more setbacks. You think you're skating in costumes, and that sucks. Your cape goes around, gets in your face pissing you off, gets under your feet, your shoe costume's always fucking up, it's always rolling over your shoe, fucking up your kickflips. That's a setback already, but it's to be expected, you know. It's Halloween, you're gonna dress up, so don't bitch about that, it's obvious. The problem here is, it had just rained, so it was humid, and maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me because here in Las Vegas, we don't have humidity, but the humidity was crazy, and on top of that, you're wearing all this bullshit. It was awful. You are drenched in sweat three minutes in, and that's before you even get a chance to try your trick, because you have to wait three minutes to try each trick. So you're already sweating. <laughs> you're already damn near uh, having a heat stroke from, from humidity, and then, then you hear the noise. <sighs> Mosquitoes are everywhere! They are everywhere! I've never... I don't think I've been bit by a mosquito in the past five years. Not once. 
I don't think one mosquito has bit me in the past five years. In fact, in five years, I've probably seen ten mosquitoes. Ten mosquitoes in five years. I show up to Texas, still no mosquitoes. Then we get to this one skate park where it's nighttime, Brownsville, hour drive. I'm waiting three minutes for each trick, okay? I'm not having a great time. I'm not landing anything because I'm not consistent. And then I get attacked by 10 billion mosquitoes. Think about it. 10 mosquitoes in the past five years, then 10 billion in five days. That, to me, was the biggest setback. And these guys might have been used to it, but even they said, at that skate park, mosquitoes aren't that bad. It's because it had just rained. Now think about some of the costumes, too. Some of these guys, Jason Park, his whole, like, his whole stomach and back and legs were showing. He probably got eaten alive. And then the firemen, and even me, my clothes were kind of tight. So they were stinging me through the clothes, which I didn't even think a mosquito could do. They went and evolved on me. Now they got extra long stingers or whatever, whatever they use. I don't know. Tongues, sharp, sharp tongues that suck. Tongue suckers pissing me off. <laughs> now what I do is complain. I rant and rave about everything. But those things are all real obstacles that happened. And for Major Crew to come out with a video as mind-blowing as they did, it makes it that much more insane, at least in my opinion. And I was blown away uh, after I realized that they go through this kind of stuff every Halloween, you know, the mosquitoes, the drives, how hard it is to get a car, warming up, the time limit, how many skaters there are, the lack of filmers, the injuries, the costumes, the mosquitoes, and more. There's probably something I left out. There's probably something I left out I can't think of, but it just makes them that more badass in my opinion, and uh, it makes me have a lot more respect for what these guys do. And the video's doing great. I'm in it. Make sure to check it out. And, uh, I don't know. It just tripped me out that all this stuff happens. And it's not something I would have expected. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. That's it. Kuna Matata, people.